Hi everyone, today I'm going to talk about how to use the NEC tools uh, library using which we can get the stock details of any stock listed on NEC as well as we can find important information about that stock. We can even find the top gainers and the top losers. So let's start. Um, the first thing is we'll have to install that library. So pip install NEC tools. Since I've already installed it on my uh, system, it won't get installed again. And after that, we'll import it. So import, we'll import the libraries. Um, so I've imported the NSE from the NSE tools, and then I'll be using pandas as well, along with numpy. And let's initiate the class. And let's print it to see whether our driver class is connected or not. So yeah, the driver class is connected now. So let's first try to get the stock uh, data related to let's say NP. To do that, let's say NSC dot get quote and the name of the stock. And let's print it out. So you'll see, you'll find everything about NSE here. What is the upper band? What is the lower band? What is the symbol? Um, and what is the company name? Then you'll talk about the quantities. You'll even find the dividend information. You'll also find uh, what is the total traded volume for that particular day. And at the end, you'll even find the ISIN code, which is very important when you're doing any fundamental analysis. The next we're going to do is let's say we want to know the stock codes of uh, every company. So if we want to find the name and code of uh, every company, how to do that. So we'll do NSE dot get stock codes. And this will show you all the names. So the symbol as well as what is the name of the company which are listed on NSE. Next, let's uh, do, um, we can start with finding the companies which have, let's say, gone up or gone down. So get a list of companies which have gone up or down. So we'll be using data frame now. And I'll be doing nse.get underscore advances underscore declines. Let's see what this shows. Um, and this is how you'll get how much, uh, how many of out of the nifty, how many are advances and how many have declines and uh, which one have remained unchanged. So first it will show you for uh, all the different indices. Next, we want to, let's say, get the name of all the indices. So NSE NSE dot get underscore index underscore list. This will give you all the index that are currently um, available on NSE. And these are all the indices. Next, let's say we want to find out the top gainers for the day. To do that, let's make a variable. So to find top gainers of the day, again, we'll be using the data frame and NSE dot get top gainers and let's print it out. And this is how you have the top gainers for the day. You'll have the name, you'll have the series, you'll have the what was the opening price today, um, what was the highest price that it went to, and uh, you'll find all the information, basically what you can get directly from the NSE website, you can get it here. So these are the top nine gainers for the day. And similarly, we can find the top losers as well. So again, pd.dataframe, NSE dot get top losers and let's print it out 
and these are all the losers for the day so th they're giving you top top 10 losers and top top 10 uh, winners um once you found out let's also try to find out the what was the um, pre-open um, prices so to get the pre-open prices for that all you have to do is pre-open and let's say if we talk about nifty then uh, pd dot data frame nac dot get pre open underscore nifty and let's print it out and similarly you can find the pre open for uh, bank nifty nac dot get pre open underscore nifty bank and let's print it out let's see what it shows so here you'll find the all the symbols along with equity and if they have the pre open prices which i mentioned here which i mentioned here so this is how they'll give you the results let me check if oh, okay, i think there is some issue with the pre open of nifty bank maybe it's something else maybe it's bank nifty let me check i think it should be nifty bank only okay i've, I've missed the get here okay, let's run it again i think this time it should work yeah it, it has given you the pre-open of um, nifty and bank nifty let's quickly go ahead and let's see what if we want to get the pre-open for the entire fno now so if you want to get the pre-open for fno to do that all we have to do is um let's make a variable pd dot data frame nsc dot pre-open underscore fno and let's print it out and here you'll get the pre-open prices for for the entire fno um, and you'll even find the value in the stocks of all the 191 which are in fno so let's do some uh, last few codes uh, what if we want to simulate the data of all the advances and declines and find out what has been the percentage change so we're just coding to simulate the advance and decline um, of the stocks okay so info i'm just making a data frame in the beginning and i'm getting the same advances and declines that i had used earlier now let's make some uh, empty lists so just some initialization and now let's go through the loop are try and catch so I'm first getting the index then I'm finding the last price and appending it to the list similarly I'll get the change and the percentage change so let me just copy this part So I've appended all of these to the to my temp list, and after that, what I'll do is I'll, I'll first just put an accept here. And I'll, I'll update a NAN here in case there is an error. Let me just copy it for change and percentage change as well. 
and now all we have to do is update our original um, list so index underscore info and let me just copy this for the change and percentage change Done. So let's print it out. I hope everything is right. Let's print and see. Okay, there is an error. Let's see indices. Um, okay, I think it's index, index, not index, indices. And okay, it's running. Let's see what is the result. Um, okay, it's giving another error. Let us see what is the error this time. change numpy has no attribute nan uh, okay did i but i think we did um let's let me check why this is not coming um let's see if it did import numpy okay it has imported numpy let's try to append direct nan let's see if that works um should be np dot nan only Oh, I got it. This is the spelling mistake here. All right, now it should work. Let's just run it for the last time. And we should get our result now. So it takes a little time uh, because it's going through the list and we have got the result. Um, as you can see, it, it has found out all the index and then it is telling us how many are the advances and declines and finally what was the last price how much is the percentage change and what was the percentage change in terms of uh, percent obviously there are some um, illiquid index for which is not able to find the, in the percentage change so this is in crux how you can use the nsc tools um, library pretty useful um, and uh, the functions are very easy to use so I hope you like it. If you like the video, of course, uh, like the video and also subscribe to our channel. Thank you.